I got something special for you guys today. It may get a little loud, but I've got probably the coolest truck you guys have ever seen. I'm on a Space Force base, which is previously an Air Force base, but if you hear jets flying overhead, we're gonna try to shoot this fast before that actually happens. But I've got my buddy Jason here, who's got, if you're looking, I'm gonna actually just flip the camera around and show you guys. So this here is probably the sweetest Ford F-250 that I've ever seen and my buddy Jason over What's here <laughs> he's gonna walk us through this and kind of just there's something special going on over there <laughs> but <laughs> he's gonna walk us through this truck and just kind of tell us a little bit about it he's uh this is amazing. I just saw this and I grabbed him. I'm like, dude, you got to come on camera for this. So he probably doesn't want to do it, but he's going to do it anyway. But uh, <laughs> Jason, what is up, bud? How, How you, doing? you doing, brother? I am good. I'm good, man. This is a sick truck. Yeah. <laughs> what made you get something like this? Uh, I just saw the dealership and I just had to have it. I mean, uh, I mean, I was looking for a big truck and this is the biggest truck you can get. Absolutely. Uh, so what is it? What what do we what are we actually looking at here? So this is actually a 2022 uh F 250 Super Baja. Um it's actually number 1 out of I believe it's 238. I could be wrong, maybe 240 something. Okay. So they're uh, only going to make 248 of them. Yep, it's 248. And this is the first one to first come out of production. First one of uh, 2022. <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> So did you pay a premium, I'm supposing, then, for that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to share with everybody how much a truck like this would go for? Um, so it was roughly the sticker price on it, which they upcharge it, was about 150 Wow. For that one. Yeah. Wow. But you get a lot of truck. Yeah, yeah. You get it's a super lot of awesome truck. truck. Yeah. yeah. So what do, we, what do we have? Let's do a little walk around here. So it's a, co it's a Cobra, Shelby? Cobra, Cobra yep. So super what, Baja? So what Ford does is they kind of match up with Shelby. Obviously, they do Mustangs and stuff like that. Uh, some people have heard the Super Snake that's out. This isn't equivalent to the Super Snake. I was confused as well. This is the Baja. So supposedly this can run the Baja race. I don't know how well it'll do, but supposedly it can do the Baja race. Um, but they just ended up taking the trimmer package of an F-250 with the King Rancher, and then they strip it out and put their own special stuff to it. Uh, Shelby, so the interior, the dashboards are Shelby. The seats are Shelby. Pretty much everything Shelby is added to it. So. Very cool. So we'll walk around it a little bit and uh, just kind of tell me about, you've got a bumper up front and uh, you've got a... So I got all the light bars that are here and these light bars also come on as well. On the oh, side. there's some in the actual can, bumper yeah, itself. I okay, I see them now. So those go there. And then Marcus here told me that I need to do a little winch. <laughs> you gotta get a winch. Yeah. I feel like you have to get a winch. You don't have to, I suppose, yeah. but yeah. And what size tires? Let's uh, just go by the numbers. They're inch tires, and they actually come with uh, six of them. I have one extra spare, but it's like an LT, I think it's a 30, uh, 315, I think, for the spare underneath, so it'll look like a donut. On okay. The and uh, you've got some crazy shock system going on in here. So it looks like you've got dual shocks and they've got reservoirs in them so you yeah you basically could go baja and they're actually adjustable as well yeah. so that's pretty cool are you planning on going baja no way i'm a favorite <laughs> princess <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you just you just like the truck you're yeah, not I even gonna like go it. baja everybody's just probably like... gonna hate us on the side and that's not what the truck is used for but <laughs> hey, it is what it is it's your truck you yeah. truck you do whatever you want to do with it so you were talking about two extra spare tires in we the back. two extra spares in the back that are actually bolted down to the side. They have their own bolts that you can see that are in there. Okay, very cool. And then back to the lights. So we have a spotlight. I'm assuming it's for backing up and trailer, but you have the spotlight here and then there's another light there. Okay, and it looks like that's a Vision X light. So it's not like they're cheap lights. That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah. And are uh, you planning on towing? <laughs> yeah, I have a little camper. I was trying to do a fifth wheel, but I don't know if I can do the fifth wheel with uh, the Baja sides. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this basically takes up a lot of the room you would have. So your fifth wheel package or we'll there, yeah. would go right there, and you're not going to be able to fifth wheel. I mean, wheel I can probably take anymore. out the tires, but the biggest problem would be probably these right here, having the clearance yeah. of it. I mean, even if there's a gooseneck, I don't yeah. know if you could be able to make that yeah so yeah the sport bar does kind of take away from all that so you probably won't be able to realistically tow a fifth wheel or gooseneck yeah, yeah. in this but uh so you got a light up front and it looks like it's got a shock system on it what is that about yeah it can go down 
come down and go up for clearance. Like if you want to get your Starbucks and get your <laughs> lattes. Um, yeah, it comes down by, or not comes down by itself, but it's a button. It is not automated to just hit it. You kind of have to hold it down to make sure it's there. Okay, but. so you push the button that's inside and then they come up and down or yep. it goes down. Yep. Then you can clear Starbucks and you're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. What about the inside? Anything fantastic on the inside at all? What have they done in there? Um, I haven't really done very much since it's, I mean, I've only had it for about two weeks. Yeah, but so everything that's in here right now, it comes with the package. Yeah. That's all um, Shelby. Yep. Okay, so you got the carbon fiber. That's pretty cool. They replaced all this here with the carbon fiber. Yeah. And then the seats look like they're Shelby seats. Okay, that's nice. And I don't think the factory F-350, this is a, what edition is it? It was the King Ranch. They just ripped all the King Ranch stuff out and then they put the Shelby leather seats that are in there. Okay. Yeah, those are way nicer than the factory seats. Because even the King Ranch seats don't look like this. They don't have this yeah, ridge yeah. in the middle. That's actually pretty cool. And talk to me about that badge. There's a little badge there. What is this about? So you can see this. So this shows off the factory. So I don't know what uh, CSM stands for, but this means that it was the year 2022, uh, Super Baja. And then this is edition number one. So for this year, I got the first one that rolled off the market per se. Very cool. Yep. Very cool. It's so high when you're sitting in here. Have you parked next to other trucks? How does that look? Um, I park uh, next to like Raptors, F-150 Raptors, yeah. which I know they don't have a big lift, but I mean, it towers, it towers over them over for sure. Raptor. Previously, I had an F-150 that had a six inch lift with 35 inch tires. Yeah. And I probably had about a two inch yeah. higher than they, they were. So yeah. So this is the switch right here that uh, you would use to uh, raise those lights up and down, yep. right? Yes, sir. Okay, very cool. So you have to hold it, though. It's not like a press yeah, it. Yeah, I wish that was the only thing Yeah. That was different. And uh, some uh, foot pedals. It looks like they changed those out to uh, some billet. And these two, pedals. I don't mean to cut into your footage. These also, the windows also come out. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, but yeah. the button here. Yeah, they'll come in and out. out. Yeah, yeah, that's cool for trailering and all the rest of that yep. stuff. Very cool. What do you hate? Oh, you know what? We need to look at the dash because I think there's some changes in here. So it looks like they pull out the dash and the, the gauges and they kind of put Shelby in there. That's kind of nice. I see Shelby in there. It's got the signature and everything else. So, Jason, everybody always talks about what they love about their trucks because after you spend 150000 you want to love it. But yeah. what do you hate about it? To be honest, I have always hated the F-250, F-350 headlights. <laughs> otherwise, that, I, there's nothing really that I don't hate about it. I mean, just That you don't look. like about it. Yeah, yeah, that I don't like about it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just a sexy truck. I mean, you get people all day that are just looking at it. They stare at it. Yeah. Um, it's a and, nice truck. Yeah. It is a neighbors super come nice and truck. ask me about it. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, no, it's yeah. a super nice truck. And ironically, I actually love the headlights on the F-Series trucks. Like, uh, as you know, I have a, I had a F-350 and uh, that's, I love the headlights. I really like them. I think it's one of those trucks where they really kind of nailed it. It's a big grill and I like the way it looks. Yeah. But that is your worst part, huh? Yep, that's it. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, no complaints from anything. Very cool. Well, nice. Awesome, thanks. I like the steps. You almost need the steps, right, to get yeah, in and out. Sure. Yeah. And they just disappear when you close the door. Yeah, just like that. It's a little bit loud inside the cab, but I mean, it's not noticeable when, I mean, you're driving and you have it turned on. Yeah, and it doesn't look like it's got an aftermarket exhaust, right? No, it's a stock exhaust, which later I'll change it. I mean, it's, it actually seems super quiet. All right. Diesel. And how do you like it? How does it drive? You've driven lifted trucks. I know you got a Jeep that's lifted as well. How does that um, compare? Like, do you feel like you've got Fox Reservoir shocks in here? Or does for sure, it... you don't feel any bumps that are coming down. And okay. I mean, even with the speed, yeah. uh, I live down in Colorado Springs. Marcus lives up here in Denver. Yeah. But uh, man, it was super easy to hit the interstate and get 100 miles an hour, like no problem. Then okay. you look down and you're like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going that trouble. fast. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel tipsy, not no, top heavy not at all. At all. No. Compared to your Jeep, you would say no, this no. is a good lift. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's very nice, man. Well, hey, I know you didn't want to do this, but I appreciate yeah. you yeah, doing no this anyway. No I think people are going to love to see yeah. this. This is an amazing truck. For sure. I appreciate your time, yeah, bro. Take it easy, brother. Yeah.